There we go. That's good enough, I think. Uh, hey, guys, how are we all doing? Welcome to the Game and Vape Lounge Live, uh, where we talk vape, have some gaming, some coffee, and uh, just some good company. So, um, yeah, no audio. Okay. Yeah, I know, because I had my mic muted. Um, I'm good now, I think, though. So let's see. Here we go. There we are. Um, yeah, I had to move my camera, and the reason for that was because it... I had a much shorter person sitting in this seat for a little while. Um, sadly, my daughter's Chromebook is not working with Zoom very well, so uh, she can't really use that, but she does uh, require it for her school studies. So I, being the nice dad that I am, we have another computer in the house she could have used, but me being the nice dad that I am, offered her my gaming PC uh, to use for Zoom. And I think that the, the classroom was pretty impressed with her uh, lighting and the camera quality. Uh, so I, I think that uh, she's much better off using my computer than the others. Um, the liar, he was on Chatterbait. No, lol. Nope, that was, uh, that was my daughter needing it. She may need it a little bit later on too. I'm not sure yet, so um, I'll find out. James Revor Rivera, Rivora? Rivora? Is that how you spell your name? No. Good morning, James Rivera. Good morning, 808 Kevin K. Rajan and Lando as well. Big love to you guys. Thanks for popping in with me. Uh, this is the Vape Lounge, the Game and Vape Lounge Live, and I don't know what the hell I did with my batteries, but um, I'm kind of stuffed at the moment. It doesn't look like I've got any batteries up here. I, I must have taken them somewhere else and uh, done something else with them, but Ah, yes, that can go over here. That's my secret stash juice right there. You want to see my secret stash juice? Let me see if I can show you guys my secret stash juice. This just arrived yesterday because I absolutely love this. This juice is phenomenal. This is the second bottle I've had of this, uh, the first one having been sent to me for review, and I loved it so much that I had to get another bottle, and that is the Sabores del Encanto. Come on. Sabores del Encanto Pastelillos de Guayaba. The Guava Flaky Pastry. That is my poison right now, guys. That That's my crack right there. Um, that and coffee. Which happens to be cold at the moment. That's yucky. Uh, let's see here. Do we have any juice on here? Nope, we don't. What am I vaping on today? We've got that Dual 21700 Parallel Box Mod, the Warlock's Hammer, with the uh, Apocalypse Gen 2 RDA on top there. Let's see if that can focus in for you. Come on, focus. I don't know why it's not focusing. I want you to focus, damn you. There you go. That's the Apocalypse Gen 2. And in that, we're running some Gorilla Custard... Right there, banana, Gorilla Custard Banana. And uh, we've also got that Unicorn Vert Mod. Very nice with the Odium RDA on top there. Juicy as hell again. I have that issue, guys, where I get a lot of juice come out of here, but that's from satur um, not saturation. That's from, um, yeah, that's from uh, condensation. That's, that's the word I was looking for, condensation. Um, but in that, what we're running is some more Gorilla Custard, but today we're running some Gorilla Custard tobacco. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get this to focus. Come on, you bastard. It's not going to, but it's... Yes, so fire, so fire. Got that Gorilla Custard tobacco in there as well. We're just going to re-juice up these wicks here in the uh, apocalypse real quick because we're, we're a bit dry. What are you guys vaping on in chat? Let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear it. I know what some of you guys are on with today. I know Chris Doyle's got his Hexome V3 going on today. Uh, I need to find a new way to get e-liquid. My shop can only do mail orders, but I do not own a card, so I'm screwed like a $10 hooker. Damn. Um, bro, 
I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Um, what do you like for juice, Lando? It's it's hard. Um, are you all set right now, or do you need juice? Because if I have stuff, I'm not going to vape, and it sounds like something that you might be interested in. You know, maybe we can work something out. I'll get you some fruits and bakeries. Okay. Okay. Fruits and bakeries. Well, do you do stuff like this? Strawberry glazed butter cake? Or do you like stuff like this? Bakery Lemier. This is a, a nice lemon tart. I'm screwed over here. Soon might be homeless in the midst of this pandemic. Yay me. Stu Rep, that sucks so bad. Um, I really hope you get that sorted and so you don't have to go homeless, man. Um, that is the worst, especially if, in the middle of all of this right now. Yeah, you're right, man. Um, Dude, I am so sorry for you. I don't even know what to say, man. Um, all I can say is uh, keep putting in the work to try and get out of this situation. Stay positive about it. Uh, don't let the stress get to you, man. Uh, that'll, for me and my own personal experience, when I let the get the stress get to me, it starts my downfall, um, and I, it ends up making my situation worse. Uh, lockdown is taking its toll, man. Absolutely. As long as it's not custard, I'd vape it. Okay. All right, bud. Oh, I have a juice you'd absolutely love. Let me see how much is left in it. Oh, no. There's not much left in it. I'd send it to you, but it's really not even worth it. But what it was is uh, Keep It 100's Apple Cider Donut. And I know you love your donuts, so. Um, let's see. Do you do menthol at all? Do you do any culotta juices? Uh, yep, late one time on rent and management don't care if we couldn't afford it. Stu, that, that's the worst, man. Um, that is a dickhead man... Uh, manager or um landlord man that that's a dickhead fucking move um i don't even know what to say to that if, if i was there i'd give him the once over man um how he could do that to somebody is is abhorrent it's illegal legal to evict here for three months during the crisis no shit rajan rajan less than half a 60 of blueberry donut and just under 60 of pb donut damn um yeah, I'd say there's about there's about half of a half of a sixty mil or something maybe I don't know. There's not much. That's a hundred mil bottle, but um, I, I would send it to you. But there's not a lot in there. Um, do you do as long as it's not a strong menthol? Okay. Do you do? Do you do pineapples and do you do mango at all, Lando? I'm, I'm trying to put a list together here for you. Um, like I said, guys, I, I've shown this many times before, but uh, I've said this from the beginning. Um, if there's someone in need and there's any way I can possibly help out, I will. Um, and th this is just an example of that, guys. Yeah. Lando being in a bad way right now, not being able to get his juice. Um, Mango Tango, forgot that, lol. Okay, well, I've got something here you might like. It's called Pango. And it's from the Vape Punks line. I know you've probably not heard of that line or that juice. That comes straight from the UK from my buddy Bobo, uh, his shop, the, uh, the Vapery out in the UK. Um, it did come in zero. It says zero on it, but uh, it is not zero. It is a three. 
that's the other thing I didn't ask. What strength do you vape at? I'm assuming a three, but I don't know. I will overcome what I'm dealing with soon. Hopefully, I get the stimulus check. Yeah, man, I hope, I hope so, man. That would really help you out. Three milligram. All right, cool. Cool. Well, what I'll do is I'll continue looking around, and I'll put these ones aside for you. Um, continue looking around, see what we can come up with. All you got to do is hit me up on Instagram or something, bro. Because I don't think you got me on Facebook. I'm not sure. Oh, news, guys. My um, two, two things of news for me. Um, vape mail yesterday came in. Um, and what did I get today or yesterday? Look at this. Look at this, guys. Fogging out with the Batman hoodie. And on the back... Says point oh, mind your fucking business. And I love this. Vapor Bunny. Hello, honey. How are you? Let's turn that back up top. Yeah. There we go. Oop. I don't want the ceiling to be showing. So I try and line up the top of my camera with the very top red line, and that's that. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much, Stu. Thank you very much. I'm telling you guys, if, if you like it, if you have the ex extra cheddar to spend, um, yeah, definitely head on over, man. He, he's got a Teespring store, and I, I got to tell you, man, this sweatshirt is comfy as hell. It's so soft and warm. It oh, mm, nice and cuddly. And I, I'm a little uh, sad, though. I wanted to get, I ordered an extra large. Because I, I know that in the, the wash, they, things tend to shrink a little bit the first time. And so I bought an extra large, and I'm a little disappointed because the extra large fit me uh, about the same way a large did like three years ago. And I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy about that at all. So yeah, Lando, I will definitely help you out. Just hit me up on, um, on Instagram, brother. Uh, I still have your address, so no, I think I still have your address. You might have to send it to me in Instagram. Why don't you do that just in case anyways? Tetley man, what's going on, bro? Pop it in on a cool wash and don't tumble dry uh, the first time, and it shouldn't shrink too much. Okay. Absolutely, Bunny. I'll, I'll try that. Um... See, I'm not very well versed in the ways of washing clothes. Uh, sometimes I do it and things shrink. Sometimes I do it and they don't. Uh, I've gotten into the habit, though, of setting the dry washer to, um, to cold only. And uh, obviously I throw my, my detergent in there. And sometimes, depending on what I'm throwing in there, like a hoodie, I'll definitely throw some in. But sometimes I'll use some liquid... Um, fabric softener in the wash as well and then I'll throw a couple of fabric softener sheets in the dryer as I turn it on low um, tumble dry low but I, I won't um, I won't tumble dry the first time I'll do that I'll hang it up is, is that what you're talking about let it air dry hang it up all good bro all good Yeah, I've got a merch store too, guys, if, if you didn't know. Um, okay, air dry it. Beautiful, Lando. Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate that. And uh, we'll get on that very, very soon. I'll talk to you on, on Instagram afterwards. Lol managed to get a dual coil in the gear RTA but wouldn't vape. <laughs> Lol. Damn. Damn. Um, you know what? I was going to play a certain game today, but I don't think we're... You know what? We'll We'll try it. We'll try it. It's uh, it's a new game. It's an easy game to play. It's like a, it's a computerized version of a board game. And no, it ain't Monopoly. You know, Stu, I was just about to say I don't have a Gear RTA, but uh, in fact, I do believe I do have one uh, once I can find it.
Oh, you know what? The gear, RTA. Who did the gear? What company? The gear was... Who? Who did the gear? Or for fur. All right. Because I'm going to look for this box. I know I have this box. Anyways, I'm not going to look for it right now. Because the chances of me finding it right this second are going to be very, very, very slim. But uh, I will look for that. What offer from Motofo? That's the profile. That's the profile. Profile Unity. That's the Warrior. Damn. I can't figure out what I did with this box, guys. I know I have it around here. I'm just going to have to um, look for I know where it is. It wasn't Watofo back then. It was just offer for fur. You know what? I do have it. One sec. Right, we have it right here. The Arfafurf Gear RTA. Here we go. Do I still have it built up or did I clean this son of a bitch? I think I cleaned this son of a bitch. Here we go. You know what, guys? I think I know what I can do. <sighs> to make this work better there you go that's the gear rta beautiful got rainbow too yes uh let's see here nope we don't have anything built into it um not too sure how i i feel about it because guys to be honest with you i'm not largely into you know what we're going to take that glass off and we're going to put the bubble glass on it see how that looks um great little rta really uh because i haven't i haven't really found a build that i actually enjoy in it i'm not largely into um wait does that even increase the volume at all? It doesn't really look like it does because the bubble glass looks shorter uh, than the straight glass. I think the straight glass actually offers more room in there. I'm not sure. Which one has better capacity? Which one has better capacity? It doesn't even say. It does not say. It goes from, oh, it does. It does increase capacity. Okay, okay. It just doesn't look, it, it looks like it's a smaller glass on the gear uh, with the bubble glass than uh, the usual one. Um, again, I, I still haven't found a fantastic build that I'm happy with. Is that? There we go. Now I can adjust the airflow. Because it's fatter, it looks shorter. Okay. Let 
Oh, that AFC ring is starting to come off. Maybe we got to push that back up somehow. Oh, I see. I see. All right. So I got to move that O-ring over a bit. I'm not sure I like this thing um, very much, you guys. I don't know if I like this. No, I don't like this. This O-ring is coming off, guys. Um, I, I'm not a fan. The uh, Not the O-ring. The AFC ring is starting to separate from the bottom of the, the deck there, and I'm not really a fan of that um, really at all. I don't know. Let me see if I can focus on the camera. I'll show you guys what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. Where the... All right, so let me see here. So do you guys see right down there, just above my finger, there's a little notch there. You see that? See how it's off center? See how it's off center? It's, it's not there yet. Uh, the AFC goes the other way around. Did they put it together wrong? Well, it can come off, that's for sure. Now the question is, will it go back on when I put it on? Where's that little divot there? There we go. I got the ring. <sighs> See, the screwed up part is I never took this thing apart. Um, this is the way it came to me. And uh, apparently, yeah, that O ring or the uh, AFC ring was on upside down um, for some godforsaken reason. Maybe we'll do a build on this. Um, I don't have really anything I can put in it yet, though. Um, maybe I do. No, I can't build this yet. All my tools are down in the basement. Um, take it off, flip it over. Okay. Did it come like, and took my meds? Uh, made, my wife actually made me the coffee this morning, so I can't say I made coffee. Um, you've seen that before in someone else's gear. Okay. So it's not just me then. Oh. Really? Really? Interesting. Very interesting. So this is... The reason I'm not a big fan of the gear, um, uh, additionally, in, in addition to what I've just already said, fan of single coil. I've always been a dual coil user. Uh, hello, Red. How are you, my friend? Sometimes you rock the gear on your mech. All right. I can see it. Does it? I put it away in the box again. Yeah, it sticks out, but... Personally, for myself, I wouldn't use it on a mech. Just for my own taste, the... 510 just doesn't stick out far enough for me to use. Um, I mean, if it was a, a non-hybrid 510, maybe I'd consider using it on, on a non-hybrid 510 single mech. Um, I wouldn't use it on a series. You only have one single coil RDA. Well, I have the gear for an RTA. For an RDA, I have the STNG. Um, let's see if we can't focus that in. There we go. We got the STNG kind of dirtied up in there. I need to clean it up a bit. But that's the uh, mouth-to-lung RDA. 
I've got the True Tank MTL. I also have this little guy that some people in chat will know uh, what this is. Oh, got to cover that so nobody guesses. Who knows what that is? And I already know some people out there are going to know. I already know some people that will know. I know, I know. Ah, Rajan knows too. No, that's not the Wasp Nano RTA. That's not even close. It's a tank, duh. Yes, Stu Rep has it. That is the Kelpie. Rajan, Vapor Bunny, I knew you guys would already know. Uh, so, um, yes, but yes, it is the Kelpie RTA. Also, I do have uh, the OG Recoil, or Recurve, sorry, the OG Recurve. And another single coiler I have, very nice, used to sit on top of the Warlock's Hammer, is the, here we go, Let's see if we can focus in on this little ditty right here. We have the Reverie RDA from, here we go, from Stan, Tenacious TX Vapes and Times Vape. Uh, that is another really good, let's see here. There we go. Come back into focus, please. Oh, wow. I like that. Yeah, man. It goes very well. Uh, perfect, almost, if you will, with the uh, the Warlock's Hammer. It's a very nice combo. Yay. What, do I, what did I win laughing my ass off? Just kidding. <laughs> Show off. No, I'm just, uh, you know, we're on the topic of single coil RTAs, RDAs. Uh, if we're going to be honest here, I really, really, really enjoy this Reverie RDA. Um, the Hive, you're loving the Hive, very nice. Um, the True Tank MTL is very nice. Um, I, I want to rebuild this, to be honest with you. I, I don't even know if I still have a build in this. I do have a build in this that I have not wicked up. Um, I think I'm going to wick this and start using this again. Possibly put it on the uh, Squid Industries double barrel V3 rather than, uh, and we could take that STNG right off. And uh, let's see what this thing looks like here, guys. I think it's going to look pretty, pretty good. There we go. We got that double barrel V3 from Squid Industries. From Squid Industries. There we go. We got the double barrel V3. And uh, I think we're going to put that True Tank MTL up on there. True. There it is. True. I think we're going to put that on top. Um, but like I said, I won't be able to wick just yet. I don't have any of my tools up here. so Because um, I, I got up early this morning. And because I got up early, I decided to start getting some work done. Decided I was going to start getting some work done today, so um, I ended up getting up, making my coffee. Well, my wife made the coffee. I took my meds, went down, grabbed my coffee, and I immediately went down to the workshop and started building. True Tank is nice, but the draw is a bit too tight for me, says Bunny. Yeah, I could see that. That's why I like to use Nick Salts in it um, over Freebase E-Liquid. If I was using regular Freebase E-Liquid uh, and 3 milligram or something, 6 milligram, 9 milligram, uh, I would probably like an airier draw. Uh, I got mad as heck when I broke my straight glass for my bulk. I have not tried the bulk yet, uh, to be honest with you. Um, so that's a thing too. Any who's, um, so yeah, what else? I have some mail coming in today, I hope. Uh, let me just double check real quick uh, because I would love... Love, love, love to be able to say that I'm getting my package today. Um, let me see if it's changed its tracking information. Um, it's uh, expected to be delivered today, so hopefully um, that happens. I'm, I'm hoping to, to God that my, uh, 
my stuff comes in today. I'm I'm waiting on an order of much a lot more wire, uh, so I can build again. Because I'm getting some more orders coming in, guys. If you are interested, please do remember that I do build coils. If you are looking for some, uh, hit me up and we'll work something out. Um, we'd love to. I'd love to get this going and rolling. But um, you know, if if you can't and if you're not looking for coils, that's perfectly fine too. Not gonna hurt my feelings, guys. The way I see it is, I'm trying to do this. It's not hasn't been successful yet. So, uh, if you think the trilogy is better than the bulk, another good tank, um, which is sitting over here on top of the. Yep, there's no batteries in that. The H Cigar Wild Wolf 235. I keep forgetting to do this, guys. This is the H Cigar Wild Wolf 235. There we go. From H Cigar, the Wild Wolf 235, with the nice trilogy tank on top there. Where's the logo? There it is. Now you guys can see that logo. This is the trilogy tank. It's a very nice one, but it is 30 millimeters. So uh, finding something to put it on top of can be a little bit of a bitch. But, uh, yeah, it's a nice tank. They're a little on the pricey side, but they're a nice tank. Got a bargain yesterday from 3A Vape, the Geek Vape Frenzy, the Sense Blazer Mini Tank, and the Sense Arrow 230-watt box mod for $24. Holy crap! Oh, my gosh, that is a great deal. That's a lot of stuff for 24 bucks. Yeah, I, I think the Kelpie's a little on the restricted side as well. Um, but the other single coilers that I have are the Profile and the Profile Unity. The reason I call them single coilers is because I only use mesh in them. Uh, mesh strips, I love them. So, um, yeah, so that's that. Let's go ahead and turn this back to autofocus real quick. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into this game real quick. I just want to show you a quick game here. Um, it's called Carcassonne. It's the, a remake of a board game. And uh, it's pretty simple to get the, the mechanics of it. And um, I think you'll understand it once I, I start playing here. But we need to put paths together and make circles. And those circles become land. And you need to make the most amount of points in order to win. And you only have so many things you can use. So people just need to learn to wick from the right people, says Red. Lol. You know, I do. I do. I need to go back and watch some, rewatch rather, some of these reviews on how to wick the Kelpie, the True Tank, stuff like that. Because uh, RDAs are easy to wick. RDAs are real easy. RTAs, on the other hand, you need to have just the right amount of cotton. Um, absolutely, regarding the trilogy. You're right, Red. Bingo. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and jump over to the game real quick. I'll show you guys a little bit real quick what this looks like. I taught myself to wick. Got it wrong loads of times. But, hey, that's how you learn, right? Vapor Bunny, I was the same way. I didn't look at videos on how to wick. I just did what I thought was the right way, and it's always worked out for me. Um, was not meant for you, Lethal. Oh, that's all right, Red. That's all right. Um, so let's see. Local play. Player one. All right. Classic. No. No. Oh, no, cancel that. Local. Solo matches. Yep, yep. Yep. Okay, we're ready to play. Let's jump into this. All right, so we've got tiles we need to place down that put down roads 
and little sections of places. There we go. Let's put one guy in there. All right. So we got one tile down. Now it's his turn. He's going to put a tile down. Oh, boy. All right. So... put that there put him there so far we've got five points he's got six damn all right I'm gonna put it there I'll put him there Oh, nice, Chris Doyle. So, this over here is the tile we have to look for a spot for now. No. All right. Now, let's see. There we go. Hey, Matt Hovland. This is a game called Carcassonne. It is a... It's a board game of types. Um, let's put a guy there. Nice, Stuart Ayrton. And nice to see you, bro. Damn. All right. Well, that kind of sucks. But... There we go. I have not made a single circle yet. Hopefully, hope to God. Oh, Christ. Here we go. Oh shit, we got seven, seven coins? Seven points or something like that? What? We just, we just hit 21 points, guys. They've got nine. Um, so let's see here. Let's put that there. Dum 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 dum. There we go. There we go, another, uh, what, eight points? We're up to almost 30 points. They've got nine. We're winning so far, guys. Um, there 
There we go. There we go. I just Buddhist palmed a spider. Lol. I fucking hate spiders too, man. Put that there. And we started another road right here. There we go. We're at 32 points. They've got nine, uh, 13 No. Yep. Hmm. Where do you go, my lovely? Oh, yuck. Let's see. Pick your spot. Damn you. Put it there. Shit. I need some more juice on this these wicks. Elder Scrolls kid. Adrian Daniels. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? From Boston. He's not from Boston. I'm from Boston. I forget where he's from. But I'm from Boston. I just hide my uh my accent. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Bingo. Start another one. Another eight points. Six points. There we go. We're at 38. He's got 25. Wow, that was cheap. All right. Hmm. Put that there. Put him on the road. Where's my coffee? There it is. Go Knights. Ah, oh, he's from Ohio. I got you. Damn it.
No points because I can't put a guy in there. We got 17 more, 16 more panels. Come on. Coffee, kid. We got some coffee, of course. Doesn't look like we're going to get anywhere here. I think, oh, shit, he's, he's up to 38, too. Christ. Damn it. He just won a lot of points and we just lost. We just lost. There it is. He had 60 points. I had 38. Anybody cough after the first vape of the day? I do, bro. I do. Um, I do a little bit, yes. And in case anybody is interested, fam, here is the link. You won't be on stream if you jump in now, but uh, this will be um, open. This room will be open after uh, the stream here. How long have we been going? About an hour. About an hour is called Ticket to Ride. It's another board game. Very easy to play. There we go. Ticket to ride. Solo. Let's play against this. So... The uh, goal of this is to complete your rail line. Uh, and you need different colors for the rails. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. All right. So you see all these different colors. you got to match up the train cars over here with the colors. And uh, you have to complete an entire line from one city to the next. So on this one, we're going to go Los Angeles and New York. And we're going to choose those. And where's the first place we're going to put one on? Is uh, Where do I have to go from? Is from Helena to Los Angeles. 
What about Los Angeles to New York? Um, oh, okay. No, you need another one. There we go. Um, we're going to need no more black, but we need blue purples for over here. Um, let's take another two here. We want to put them here. And we're going to need some more black. Hey, we got a Joker's card, but we can't pick it. Blue. We can't do anything, so we have to... Wait till our next turn. What do we need? We need greens. We need five greens. And we'll take another blue. Damn. We need another orange. And... I have to pick up a second card. Uh, do I need any more purples? No. Am I going to need reds? No. But we're going to need that. And we're going to need some green. Take another purple. Hmm. There we go. Complete that one. Then we can complete that one. Put that one there. Um, we're going to take that one. We're also going to take that other joker. Oh, Christ. Here we go. It's up to 12 points now. Um, I still need more yellow. So we just need one more yellow or joker card. Um, hmm. Let's take another blue. And let's take a red. Oh, you Christ. All right. So we're going to go blue here. There we go. We completed our train. We got 21 points for that. Where am I going now? There we go. I'm going to need purple. And I'm going to 
I need orange, but there's nothing there. Let's see. No, I can't go there with it. Oh, you Christ. You cracker. Fudge. Fudge. Um, I'm not getting any of the cards I need. Damn it. Oh, I got to pick a second card. Um, damn it. I'm not getting what I need here, guys. Pick that one. Oh, shit. There we go. That's our second rail. I think I'm going to be dead. I'm I'm no good. No good. Nope. I don't win. I lose. You got to get as many trains on the the board as you can. Meanwhile, still Hold on. Oh, I won by one point. I won by one point. I'm going to put my name in as Lethal Coils and try and beat my score. Go ahead, I dare you. There we go. Yahoo, we won by one point, guys. One point. If you are interested in some point one... To one only. Thank you very much, Chris Doyle. I appreciate that, brother. Chris Tuna, what's going on, bro? How you doing, buddy? Man, that was close. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Really am. Let's do a rematch. Let's do a rematch here. Um, let's go Calgary to Phoenix, Dallas to New York. And we'll choose that. Let's see. Uh, what do we need here? We're going to need... Can't afford to be without those. Um... All right. Well, um, let's see here. Green. Here we go.
You bastard. All right. Let's see. Let's do those two. That'll give us two points. Oh, that's seven points for her. Um, all right, so we're going to need... Purples. That bring us up to twelve. <sighs> we need a green. We're going to need those yellows, too. No, we're not. I need to pick a second card, though. Let's go blue, because we're going to need two. There we go. Whoops. I didn't need those yellows, but I did need that green. Gosh darn it. All right, so where's the other one that I have to go to? From Calgary to Phoenix? Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to finish that one off. Um, let's do that. Four points to us. Um, there we go. There's one trail, one rail, railway. Huh. Damn it. I needed that too. Um, we need orange, I think. Could need orange, not sure yet. Hmm. Block him out. Hmm. Damn, she just whooped me. Hmm. 
<laughs> Don't know what we're going to grab. Purple. That's another purple for us. Oh, we need those three. Damn it. Yeah, he's going to win like crazy. There's no way around this. I lost hardcore. Yep, I lost big time. Big time. I lost big time. 121 points, and I had 40. Holy crap. All right. So that just shows you. Subaru Nerd Vapes, what's going on, bro? How you doing, man? So that's going to do it for this one, for this game, guys. Um, yeah, we've been going a little while. And I have some a bunch of stuff to do. Um, what the hell was that? What do I have in my library? that we can play. Um, what is Bad North? Okay, cool. We're reconnected. There we go. Looks like we lost the uh, stream there for a second, but we're back. We've been going on for an hour and 15 minutes, guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up now. Um, I only wanted to be live for about an hour. Like I said, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I have videos that need recording. I have coils that need building. Right now, I'm at a very, very hectic point in my life at the moment. So um, I'm very busy uh, currently. And then on the weekends, as you guys know, I've been taking time to do th things around the house and uh, spend time with the family. And so get that off the table. That way I can knock this desk and it doesn't shake my camera. Um, so yeah, I take the weekends off now, no streaming, uh, unless it's a very special case and somebody wants me to come on to a live stream, uh, depending on, on what the stream is about will determine whether or not I can take time away from my family and stuff. So, um, so that's that guys, you guys can catch me tonight at 7 PM Eastern standard time. Uh, that would be midnight in the UK for the vape lo uh, the lounge live the lounge live TLL the lounge live um, very nice Subaru very nice um, I forgot what I was just saying but yeah for the lounge live tonight 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time midnight in the UK we've got Mr. Big G from Wired Talk with Big G coming on the show tonight another great coil builder. Um, somebody I look up to and, uh, is a great, great guy. Um, so I'm looking forward to having him on the show tonight. Guys, if you don't know, next week is a show not to miss. Next Wednesday, 7 p.m., uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 a.m. in the U.K. I know that's going to be very hard for you guys to make, but, um, guys, to be honest with you, you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't miss this one. We've got Sam. Sam, Mr. Vaping Bogan himself, is going to be joining us on the show, not tonight, but next week. So, um, big love to Mr. Sam. Love you, bro. And, uh, yeah, so that's coming up next uh, next Wednesday. We've got Mr. Bogan coming on. And, um, yeah, so we're going to do this again tomorrow morning and again on Friday. And then we'll be taking the weekend off. Monday will come soon. But, uh, yeah. 
So we got Big G on tonight. We got Bogan on next week. Super pumped for both shows. And, uh, yeah, that's what you guys got from me. I look forward to seeing you guys later on tonight. If I don't see you tonight and you watch the replay, thank you guys very much for being there anyways uh, to support me. I appreciate it. And, um, yeah, so that's what I got for you today, guys. This has been the Game Lounge Live where we talk coffee, vape, gaming, and uh, just whatever we want. Um, hell yeah, Subaru. Hell yeah, he's already been confirmed. He's already penciled in. We, we're set. We're good to go. Everything's golden. Uh, so we're, we're definitely having Sam on. That's a, a for sure thing. Um, love, peace, and chicken grease. That's right. That's right, guys. Uh, well, until tomorrow, fam. Let me just rejuice this with the proper juice. Uh, until tomorrow, my friends, my family, uh, I love you all very, very dearly, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. But until then, I hope you all have a fantastic Tuesday morning. Have a very blessed day, and uh, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, keep it cloudy, and yeah, let's keep fighting for our right to vape, guys. But as I always end our streams, we are going to do the thing. Guys, it is Wednesday. I said Tuesday earlier today, didn't I? It's Wednesday. I'm lost. It is Wednesday, guys. So uh, we do have two more days of the week to look forward to. And then we have the weekend coming up. So it is hump day. And uh, we've got good things coming on the horizon. So nothing should have you disappointed. But in case something does have you down and in the dumps today, remember that you are the master of your own destiny. You're the only one in this world that can pick and choose how positive or negative your days will ever be. And uh, yeah. So keep that positivity high, keep the smile on your face, and let the negative brush off your shoulders. I love y'all. Thank you so very much for joining me this morning for the live stream. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much. I love you guys too. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. So until then, I've been Chris Lethal Coil signing off. You guys have been absolute legends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, yeah, let's just keep doing what we do. Peace out, guys.